Okay, good morning grade eights. Today is Thursday, May the 28th, and today is the fourth day of our enumeration review for the year. So um, looking at what is important for high school, I think um, from the enumeration standpoint, what really is gonna be important is gonna be fractions. It's gonna be huge. Um, when you're in high school, you're gonna be spending a good deal of time thinking about fractions. So um, that's why we spent a good deal of time working on them back in February and the beginning of March. Uh, so today's work hopefully will be like a very, very quick review where you are like, yeah, I totally got this. I haven't forgotten anything. But just in case you forgot everything, I'm going to review everything, um, well, most things I'm going to try, in a super quick crash course starting right now. Okay, so let's just get started. All right, so the first skill that you need is uh, to be able to take a fraction and put it into lowest terms. One of the questions from the math test um, that you guys had just last week asked you to do this. Um, it was taking a decimal and finding it in fraction form and then putting that into um, lowest terms. And a lot of you gave me a, a fraction that had a decimal inside it. And um, that is not how fractions work. They are whole numbers, okay? And if, if it needs to go into a decimal, then you've got to expand that into a bigger number. But anyways, here we have this number here. We got 21 over 28. And I'm looking at this and I'm going, okay, how can I reduce this into lowest terms? So I need to start thinking about my number facts. Does this work for two? Can I divide the top and the bottom by two? No. How about three? Will this work for three? Well, it'll work for the top, but it won't work for the bottom. Four is not going to work. Five's not gonna work. Six is not gonna work. Seven, oh, seven, oh, that'll work. So I'm gonna divide the top by seven, and I'm gonna divide the bottom by seven. And when I go 21 divided by seven, that gives me three. And when I go 28 divided by seven, that gives me four. And this is now in lowest terms. I cannot reduce it any further. Um, being able to do lowest terms and reducing the lowest terms, vital skill. You have to do that with pretty much every single question that you're gonna be asked to do. All right, next skill, improper to mixed. So here we have an improper fraction. What makes it improper? Well, the numerator is bigger than the denominator. The 14 is bigger than the eight. So I have to be able to turn this into a mixed fraction. And to do that, I'm gonna have a whole number. Well, how many eights can I take out of the 14? I think I can only take one eight out. So I take one eight out. If I remove eight from 14, what am I left with? Let's see, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, six. Oh, I got a six here. All right, six over eight. But wait a second, that's not lowest terms. Everything has to be reduced to lowest terms. So again, I got my one whole, and I can divide this by two, and I can divide that by two. So six divided by two gives me three. Eight divided by two gives me four. And there it is, my lowest terms mixed number. Well, what if they give it to me mixed and I need to be able to figure that out in, in proper terms? So here's what you're gonna be doing. You're gonna be taking your mix, turning it into a proper. So you take your bottom, your denominator, you're gonna multiply that by the, the whole number. So in this case, it's five multiplied by four, which gives me 20. And then I add my numerator, which gives me 21. So it's gonna be 21 over five, and that is my mixed to improper skill. Okay. What about finding common denominators? Well, this is an important, you need to be able to do this. You can't add and you can't subtract unless you are able to find a common denominator first. So for every question that you're asked to add or subtract fractions, you need to be able to get those common denominators or else it just will not work. So here I've got a three and here I've got a five. So I gotta find a number that's gonna work for both of these and I'm thinking 15. So in this case, the, this is gonna become, um, well, they're both gonna be 15. So to get from three to 15, I'm multiplying by five, which means I'm gonna multiply that numerator by five. So two times five is gonna give me 10. And then here I've got five. To get to 15, I'm gonna multiply it by three. So I multiply the top by three, so that is gonna be three fifteenths. Okay, so now that I've found common denominators, I can add them. I have to have those common denominators first. So in this case, um, I just add the top. So I've got two plus three is gonna give me a total of five over seven, and that's adding right there. 
Okay, but I might still have to turn that into lowest terms. In this case, I don't, but I might have to. Or I might have to turn it, it might be improper now, I've got to turn it into mixed. Okay, next one, subtracting fractions. So here I've got seven over eight, subtract two over eight, and I'm making sure my bottoms are the same, my denominators are the same. And then after that, I just have to um, subtract the tops. So it's gonna be five here. And that's also already in lowest terms. Um, if I had a mixed number here and this number was this first fraction numerator was smaller than the second fraction numerator, I would have to turn it from a mixed number into an improper fraction so that I can do my subtracting. Oh, I'm already at the end of this page. Here we go. Next one. Boom. All right, multiplying fractions. So when we're multiplying fractions, we don't have to figure out a common denominator. We're allowed to just multiply the top by the top, multiply the bottom by the bottom, and that gives us our answer. So in this case, four times one is gonna be four still, and five times three is gonna be 15, and that is my answer. So I'm just multiplying those two and multiplying those two to get my answer. All right, finding the reciprocal is yet another skill that we need to have. Hopefully you all remember this. What is a reciprocal, Miss Groflow? I don't remember that, what that word is. Well, it's where you flip the numerator and the denominator. You just have to turn it around. So um, 14 20, um, over 21 will become 21 over 14. That is the reciprocal, okay? That's the reciprocal where you just flip them backwards, okay? And why is this an important skill? Well, you need it for dividing fractions. So when you're, oh, I forgot to make an example here. So when you're dividing fractions, let's say you have um, four fifths and you're gonna divide that by one third. Well, you, the only way that you can divide is by turning it into multiplication. So in order to turn that into multiplication, you copy out your first fraction, and then you change your sign to multiplication, and then you have to do the reciprocal, the second one, so it becomes three over one instead of one over three, okay? So once you've found that reciprocal, then you can do your multiplication and you would go four times three, that gives me 12. Five times one, that's five. Ooh, now I have an improper fraction. Let's just do that for fun because it's always good to practice, turning that into a mixed. So how many fives can I take out of 12? I think I can take two. So I take two whole numbers out that's worth 10. That's gonna leave me with two fifths and that's now lowest terms, okay? So these are the skills that we are using today, hopefully. You were sitting there during the video going, yep, got it, yep, remember, yep, that's clear as a, uh, clear as a, a bell, no problem at all. Um, and then you can apply those skills to the questions that I am assigning you for today's work. Okay? All right, guys, thank you very much for watching my video. Talk to you next time.